Hello students, today we are starting with the next type of integrals. Sin mx, sin power m and cos power n. We will solve this integral as If the power of sin x is odd, first situation is if m is odd, then we put cos of x as t and if n is odd, positive integer, then we put sin of x as t. If m is odd, we put cos x t and if n is odd, we put sin x as t. If m and n both are odd, if m and n both are odd, then we put either sin x as t or cos x as t. Then we put either sin x as t or cos of x as t. If both m and n are even, then we use their trigonometric relations. Then we use their trigonometric relations and after that we solve the integral. Now let's start with question number 1. Integral of sin power 3 and cos power 4. Here m is odd, so we put cos of x as t. Put here derivative of cos is minus sin x dx as dt. First we write sin cube as sin square x into sin x cos 4x dx. In place of 1 sin square we use the identity 1 minus cos square sin x cos 4x dx. Now here we put cos x as t 1 minus t square sin x dx is minus dt into t4 minus t4 minus t6 apply the power rule here n plus 1 minus minus plus n plus 1 is 7 and what is the t here? t here is cos of x minus cos 5x upon 5 plus cos 7x upon 7 plus c minus cos 5x upon 5 plus cos 7x upon 7 plus c Now the next is integral of sin square x into cos 5x dx. Here n is odd so we put sin x as t. Here 5 is odd, so we put sin x as t. Derivative of sin is cos x dx. We put sin x as t, so we first write cos 5 as cos 4x into cos x. Cos x dx will become dt. So in place of cos 4, we write it as cos square x into 2. Cos square x power 2. And in place of cos x, 
we use the identity here, 1 minus sine square x. Now put sine x as t. t square, 1 minus t square cos x dx as dt. Open the bracket here, a minus b whole square, a square plus b square minus 2ab. T square plus T6 minus 2 T4 dt. Apply the power rule here. Integral of T square is T cube by 3. T6 is T7 upon 7. And T4 is 5 upon 5. T here is sin x. Sin cube x upon 3. Plus sin 7x upon 7. Minus 2 by 5. Sin 5x plus c. Next is integral of cos cube x e power log of sin x. E and log will be cancelled out. So what we get is cos cube x into sin x t. Derivative of cos is sin. So we put cos x as t. Derivative of cos is minus sin x dx as dt. Instead of sin x dx minus dt t cube. Apply the power rule minus t 4 upon 4 plus c. And what is t here? Cos minus cos 4x upon 4 plus c. 